I'm going to do top five. Top five in ranking of driving ability. Who else? Luke is an incredible driver. Mm -hmm. I think Luke might be. Luke Fink? Yeah. Did you just put him below TJ Hunt? Well, that's so. You... Luke is a reckless driver, though. Reckless. So I am Aaron from Lone Star Drift. They didn't sponsor this. Heat Wave did. Uh, anyways, introduce yourself. I'm Grant um, from Connecticut, local drifter. Why are you uh, special? Why are you here? I don't know. I have a lot of friends. That's a good good That's, way to say it. Yeah. I'm I'm a very friendly person, and I'd say over the past five years, I've become friends with a lot of, I would say, influential people in the automotive. Mm -hmm. Scene, YouTubers, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Tommy Would you like Efiao. to name them? Go ahead. Yeah, so Tommy Effia, one of my best friends. I've known him for 12 years. Mm -hmm. um, he became friends with Rice or Miata, mm -hmm. who then we all became friends with Adam mm -hmm. through the YouTube thing. And then we all became friends with TJ, and it kind of just snowballed, and now we all hang out all the time and drive all the time, and I just try to keep up with all the YouTubers. <laughs> I have the topic. Okay, I'm ready. The topic is, you chose not to be a successful YouTuber. Okay. Is that accurate? Sure. Yeah. You chose not to go that path. All yeah. your friends are doing it. If you're in with the Connecticut boys, it seems like you're an instant YouTuber because you're around other YouTubers and it just like breeds success on YouTube. Do you agree Agreed. with that? Yeah, absolutely agree. And has anybody pressured you to become a YouTuber? Every day of my life. Really? Every Why day. don't you do it? You could immediately have all these so, sponsored parts. You could immediately travel and do all these crazy things. But I have all that stuff already. He's like, I'm not poor. I don't need to do well, it. Well, no, 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 no. I am sponsored by companies. Mm -hmm. uh, I get to travel with all of them, all mm -hmm. my friends that travel. Um, I enjoy my job, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like that I am a little piece in everybody's channel. I think that's a good way to put it. Um, I feel like I would not sell myself out, but I feel like where I'm at right now is a perfect mix because I'm still my own person. I make all my own content on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, but I can go to Adams for a week and not invade with filming. I can go to California and hang out with TJ. I can go to Tommy's shop every day. And I don't feel like I'm using any of my friends, which I think is, I don't think YouTubers use each other, but I think there's always content to be made from other influencers. Mm -hmm. So I like that I can just go do what I want to do, whether it's drifting or we've been to Germany, we've been to the Dragon, we've been all over the place together, and I can just hang out. Mm -hmm. That's kind of so you're scamming all the good experiences off the YouTubers without them having it, like you having to do the YouTube work. Kind of, yeah. You're like, yes, I like But, but you on, found on the, like, another side. You found the roadie thing or like the Mike Tyson dude <laughs> that like hangs out with him. You, little, you don't have to do the boxing, but you get to go But I get to go to the everywhere. matches. Yeah. But on the other side too, I'm not stealing any content from anybody. I'm not up anybody's ass to make content with me. I'm just there to hang out. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, obviously I think YouTube would be a good idea, but I just, what I'm doing now has seemed to work, so I think I'm just gonna keep doing this. All right, I'm not gonna beat this horse to death. However, you said you have a job. Is it often at your job that every six months you could make twice as much money and infinitely scale like that? No. But you do see some of your YouTuber friends doing that. Oh yeah, absolutely, every it, day. It's every gotta day. be yeah. a big like, Oh yeah, no, like, it's crazy. Poof, yeah. Shoot yourself in the head. But. I mean, I like know. my YouTuber I've friends bought it. more Lambos. I've thought about I'm it. I'm gonna get in my E36. Yeah. <laughs> Drive home. Drive home. <laughs> I I think it's great. I think YouTube is. I think it's an ever evolving platform. Also, I think that even more sponsorships, like companies I've worked with, mm -hmm. that's almost a requirement now at, for a lot of brand deals. Is you have to have a YouTube channel. You have to have an integration and things like that. So. I see the value, obviously, but... You're not doing it. No, That's not fair right enough. now. Okay, next topic is, is you've gotten very good at driving and you're around a lot of YouTubers. I would like you to rank the YouTubers that you just mentioned before and quality of driving oh, skills. You're so, gonna, uh, some of my do you friends do it on the whiteboard? mad at me for this one. Do you wanna do it on the whiteboard? So it has to be an in ink and you have to put them down? No. Come on. Okay, fine, we're doing it on the whiteboard. Can I get a little bit more focusing over here real quickly? All right, do you wanna do top five? 
Yeah, do whoever. Yeah, come on. Okay, I'm gonna do top five. Top five in ranking of driving ability. Out of my friends that are influencers. Yeah, is that too small? Is that okay? A little bit bigger. Okay. Just write their names bigger. Okay. So number one is You can put be yourself in there too. LZ. Okay. I think he, out of my friend group, is the best driver. Mm -hmm. Number two may be a little surprising, but it's going to be TJ Hunt. Really? He has progressed an infinite amount. He in does the past very year. aggressive he wide lines and does great. Blew my mind at the Invitational. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to put myself in here, though. Okay. Because I in think TJ them. and I have a very similar skill level. I'll notice you put yourself above him, not below him, though. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. I might be one and a half. Um, who else? Luke is an incredible driver. Mm -hmm. I think Luke might be. Luke Fink? Yeah. Did you just put him below TJ Hunt? Well, that's so. You, you didn't let me answer. You I said, I get think beat. he's going to be above TJ. Luke is a reckless driver, though. Reckless. Yeah. Hold on. I got to change something. Sly, gonna... you got to edit this. <laughs> no, we're not changing. So, are you saying Luke is better than LZ, or LZ is better than Luke? Mm, yes. Okay. I don't know. I haven't seen Luke drive that much, just the driving at Englishtown and the yeah. driving here. Fair enough. He also did smash into me. Okay. And broke his wheel. Um, Who else is up there? Rodnick is going to be next. He's progressed a ton. And then my last friend is Tommy. He just started driving, but he has gotten really good in like six months. Okay. I don't have any. Who else was at the Invitational in your YouTube crew? Do you count Hurt? Put Hurt in there. This is going to be a fun thing. You're going to get me in trouble. I'm going to get you beat. Um, where does Hurt go? Hurt drove fantastic at the Invitational, by the way. He did. If Incredible. he didn't break every single car yeah, he that he gets in, he would have beat me. Yep. I didn't put you on the list, but don't put you don't me on count. the list. I don't count. Uh, I'm not I don't a know YouTuber. who else to put on the list. That is my top seven drivers. Who else YouTube's out of all these people? Who is at the Invitational? Anybody else? Rodnick, Jinge is a YouTuber. Who is at the LZ party? Colette was there. Colette was there. Um, you can put Colette on the map. You can put who else? Uh, now Colette's going to beat you up. Where are you going to put Colette? Right here. Okay. Colette goes right there. Who else? You got to give me names because I'm drawing a blank. Who was on the party flyer? Chelsea was on the party flyer. Ooh, who's better? Chelsea or LZ? Chelsea. Okay. You have to live with these decisions for the rest of your life. No, I don't. It's, a, it's an erase board. I can no get one rid watches of them my in stuff. five seconds. <laughs> yeah, but it's a video. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid okay. of him in five seconds. Uh, Who else? Fielding Shredder. Hmm. He's just on the flyer, but I wouldn't count him as part of your group at all. Oh, Jimmy Oaks. Jimmy. Great one, yeah. How could I forget? Um, I'm going to tie Jimmy and Ricer Miata. Jimmy is a great driver. Um, he's had a ton of car issues, though. Yeah, I think the Z is the first car he got that is actually he is driving well in. Yeah. Okay, that's my list. We're not done yet. One You're going to get me in more trouble. I have to find more people to piss off. Uh, <laughs> this is my list. This Duarte. is his list. Duarte was on I the list. I haven't seen D drive that much. I know yeah. he's a very good driver, so but I couldn't put him on the list because I, I haven't seen him drive enough. All right. Oh, Samet. Samet, Samet, Samet. Uh, he didn't really drive at the Invitational. Just put him on the list where you think he belongs. Uh, right here. OK. So now you have to live by this list forever? That's fine. I think it's a very fair list. I think they're all good drivers. Hold on. You want a picture with me next to it? 
There we go. All right, so let's keep going now. Well, I was going to lead into this. We kind of took a segue, but I think people like the segue. So what I was going to say is you improved drastically when I saw you in Japan. You spent several days there before we were there, and like you guys remember last yeah. time we were there? Yep. You, I saw you improve, or maybe I hadn't paid attention to you much before then. No. But so you were improving very quickly then. Um, same thing with Kane, if you remember Kane Launder. Incredible. Yeah, I talk he to Kane every day. Yeah. Fantastic. Incredible. And I keep seeing a bunch of you guys pop up, you know, because I don't see you all the time, especially because yeah. you're on yep. YouTube and stuff. Every six months or something, I see you driving somewhere, and I'm like, man, Grant's getting good. Yeah, I appreciate And I was watching that. you at the LZ party, and you were driving fantastic. And yeah. then, I, you know, just as I see you pop in everywhere, how are you getting so good? I drive a lot. Yeah. With who? Like, you uh, don't get good by just driving a lot. I Oddly do, enough, so same. I drive with uh, Rich Whiteman a lot. He's mm -hmm. a Pro 2 driver, Pro Spec driver. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my really good friends, he's been to Japan with us. I think my biggest, oh, sorry. my biggest help was, I've done 75 days I have a suit. Holy cow. Yeah. When were you there so much without I us? I did, did April you go on of a trip 2018. When I wasn't there? Oh. Fall of 2018, spring of 2019, fall of 2019. Dang. So I did that one trip, I tank. did 25 days in a row wow. at Ebisu. So. so as you're not a YouTuber and you're not posting, I'm not seeing that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool that you're incognito mode. Because if Adam was out there for 75 days, there'd be... A hundred videos. Well, it's incredible, too, because... If Reister Miata was there, there'd be 100 I totaled my car videos. <laughs> you know how how quickly you can progress at Abusu. Mm -hmm. If your car doesn't break, you get so many laps in that it's like... It's very good. Mm -hmm. um, However, I can say, as someone that drives at Ebisu a lot, I see a lot of people that don't improve there. I agree. The reason being is because, like, you were driving with Kane. Kane rips. rips. You have to be with other good people, yep. or else you keep making the same mistake constantly, and you don't improve. You just keep making the same thing, and you keep driving the same lap over and over and yep. over again. How do you not do that? I, I try to drive with people that are better than me. Mm -hmm. I drive with Kane. I drive with uh, Kev Flynn. You know, oh, Kevin, he's amazing, yeah. Incredible driver. Um, Fausto, incredible mm -hmm. driver. Um, but then, like, back here, I try to drive with Adam as much as possible. I know he's a great driver. I know what he does when he enters, so, like, I can, you know, counteract for that. I know he taps his foot brake every time I was going to say, what enters. does he do? Every time he enters, he taps his foot brake. I don't know if he's doing it to slow the car down. I don't know if it's a... I don't know what you call it. I don't know if he just does it just to do it, just to set the car up, but every time in the I first- I think a lot of us get like our little comfy like security blanket thing, grabbing e-brake on transition yeah. or yep. whatever, and we just, it gets beat into us on accident and yep. it's hard to erase. Um, but I just try to drive with people that are, that I think are better than me so I can improve. Uh, you know also following a poor lead line is, it's so difficult to do. So if you can follow someone that's has a good lead line, then it makes your chase driving a lot better. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at that, and you put yourself above Luke. I'm going to bring him in here. I'm going to have a grudge match against you and Luke. I'll fight him. He'll, fight. <laughs> He'll kick my I ass. I would not want to fight Luke. <laughs> Neither would I. No. Um, I haven't. I know Luke's probably a better driver than all of us. I just haven't seen him drive that much. Makes sense. That's all. No one's ever seen him drive well. No, I'm joking. He's, he's really good. I didn't say that. Um, so what gets you, like, how do you continue driving that much, and what gets you excited? Because sometimes it's just like putting in laps. Even at Ebisu, sometimes I'm not having a good time necessarily. Like, you have a good time at Ebisu because you're eating ramen at the, at the lunch place. You know, there's beautiful going to the weather. Bar at night. You're going yep. to the bar at night at bar ten or whatever it is with like yep. the Ebisu drifting in the. We're at the same stupid place. Yeah. But yeah. I was gonna say it's the overall atmosphere. If that was in the United States, you would get sick of North Course. A hundred percent. Do you agree? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. And especially now that Manami's gone and stuff like that, I'm going to find it. I th I personally think that Ebisu's kind of. I don't want to say done. I think that. The price is so high now that new people will no longer find it as enticing to go, and maybe they'll try and f rent a car or something. And the people such as ourselves, I don't think we have as many trips in, in us until we burn out as we originally had. Like, you're probably not going to go do another 75 days of drifting on North no, Course. No, I'll probably 
just continue to do a fall trip. Yeah, like a Matsuri or something. Yeah. I'm like you, by the way. When I first started, I was like, spring and fall Matsuri. Yeah. And I was doing that. And then very quickly, you're like, fall's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like, once, once a year's enough. I think when I started going to Ebisu, I hadn't driven here enough to get bored. I wasn't mm -hmm. good enough at driving, so I just wanted to go there and drive, 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 drive. And in reality, it's in my opinion, cheaper to drive there for mm -hmm. an extended period of time than it is to drive here with like my E36 that uses it was, 10 tires a day. I think. I think it was. Agreed. I think now that metric's changing. I'm interrupting because of, and everything. Sorry. Because of car prices. Right. And also just everything getting more expensive. The traveling. Well, first of all, we can't travel, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. But yeah. Keep I still going. have a flight credit from when my, it was supposed to go. I don't even know how to find my flight credits. <laughs> um, no, I just didn't think I was a good enough driver when I started going to Ebisu, so I went as much as possible. And those two years, I didn't even drift in America wow. at all. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't feel like I needed to. I, I felt like I got my fix for the spring, and then right before the fall ran around, I was getting itchy again to drive. Mm -hmm. I went in the fall, and I was good for the winter again. Um, but And then my car, my BMW used to break all the time, so... I Is pulled it, it solid up. now? Yeah, I pulled it apart and redid the entire car, not just fixing things that broke. I redid everything, and the car's been great now. So that's why I've been driving it so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing a lot of private days at English Town um, through Chris Knapp, East Coast Drift School. So we've been doing a lot of private days there like during the week and stuff. It's been awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not bored of it yet. Did you go to Pocono Snow Day with us? No. That was better than Ebisu driving. Really? Yeah, it was insane. It, the reason was is because in the wet you could link 100% of the track and there's like barriers off to the side. These no big one tires. was going through tires. Zero tires, but not just that. Um, you could drift all the track, but because it flowed so well and everything else, like I would do 10 laps leading Adam and then Adam would swap and I would do 10 oh, laps awesome. and you do that yeah. and there was zero mistakes in it. So all you did was like you were working on your transition time, you're working on stuff and it was very thoughtful. Yeah. You know how like say you're on Manami, Practicing Manami is like sheer terror and adrenaline hitting you Every and everything else. Lap. Yeah. yeah, so like I'm not sure I ever improve on Manami necessarily. The improvement on Manami would be changing the car and putting more power into it and like setting the car up and like making. In order to make it to the bottom on the wall. And, yeah, so yeah. I was going to say stuff like that. North Course is just North Course. It's great. And Toge is great, but you know, you're only going to do so much on them. Yeah. Uh, you're going to, at best, start doing the exact same line and like lap over and over yep. again. Um, and you're just having fun because it's like rolling the dice. How many times can I do this before Until I totally crash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm building a V8 car right now for Ebisu really? um, to ship over. And I was going to get, we were going to do Corvettes, like four of us. And then, you know, all your friends peter out because we we're going to send a full one over there when they were cheap just oh, to part okay. out as yeah. we needed it. Yeah. Um, but now I think I'm just going to do a V8 S14 and ship it. That'll be awesome. But I was going to say, that is what would help me level up there, because I feel like, I'm not saying I'm a great driver, but I'm saying I'm doing the exact same thing over and over and oh, over yeah. when I'm there. Yeah. I just feel like it's been so long since we've all been able to go that it'll be refreshing again when we get yeah. to. So we're going to have an excitement, and then it's immediately going to go back down again, I think, where people aren't, you're not going to go twice a year or three times a year. No. And, and you're I, not going to go 30 days a year. You're going to go 10. Yeah. And I'm just nervous too, like you said before, I'm nervous too. One of my favorite things going to Japan was meeting all the foreigners, meeting Goblo, meeting Kane, meeting all these people from around the world. And I feel like it's going to be harder for new people to come now mm -hmm. because everything, cars are 15, 20,000 now when we paid six thousands, yeah. five, six grand for cars. So it's like, it's going to be hard for people to come. And if they do come, they're going to want to export the cars. And they're mm -hmm. not going to drive them like they need yeah. to be driven. So, and that's what the people from mm -hmm. ten years ago would say. They're like, when I did it, it was a thousand dollars a car, and tires were forty dollars a piece. And you know what I mean? Like, there's there's yeah. a level, and we were just happened to be in it. And some people were up here, and now it's going to be down there. Yeah. Oh, I think about it. So, anyways, what gets you excited about drifting? What is going to keep you drifting for the next five years? Because you're already kind of like going to the LZ party and the Invitational. You're getting to be at the epicenter of cultural. I guess YouTuber drifting. I don't want to say cultural, like, ah. we're at the epicenter of cultural drifting regardless because we're doing Ebisu and all the Adam stuff sure. and all these different yeah. things. I, we're very spoiled. 
Agreed. Uh, insanely yeah, I'm spoiled. super grateful. And I don't yeah. want to say that's what everything drifting is, but I mean, it is a lot of the coolness of it, and we're not just doing our local events. We're like so lucky getting to do all this crazy stuff. Yeah. So what's the next five years going to hold for you and keep you excited? Because there's not another Ebisu hiding out yeah, there. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if... Uh, I don't think I ever want to compete. I don't... Like, I like drifting mm -hmm. for drifting. I love competing. I, I think it's a blast, but... So many of my friends that have gone to Pro Spec, Pro One, start hating drip. They start hating it, and like I don't want that to happen to me. Name so, those people. Um, Jeff Stoneback mm -hmm. did Pro One, hated it, from my understanding. Mm -hmm. Stopped doing it, and now he's enjoying drifting again. And it's S15, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I just know it's stressful. I know there's a ton of money involved. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I might get burnt out. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I like what I'm doing, but I just, and that's why I, I think that's why I travel so much also. Mm -hmm. Name something specific though that's like in the next five years. It's a cop out to say, I just don't want to compete or something like that. You're getting to do so many cool things that people are jealous of and you're getting so many like experiences. You could say I want to go to Poland with Gobla. You could say I want to do this. You could say I want to do that. You know, I want not even drifting me, but I want to go to Riga. Okay, that looks my, rad. Yeah, I was gonna say goals. that would be something that I'd would love to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, That's love... interesting because it's a piece of media that you're seeing and you're getting exciting, yeah. excited about a piece like of media. One of the, even the videos from seven years ago, like that, will, got me so hyped on drifting. Mm -hmm. So I love partying and hanging out with people, and like that looks like the epicenter. Mm -hmm. I'd love to go to Poland, drive with Gobla. Um, I don't know. I just want to keep driving and traveling. So you're someone that only thinks a short period of time in yeah, advance I'm for this stuff. Really, you're not thinking I'm not years really in advance. Planning out, no. Maybe that's part of my downfall also. But mm -hmm. I just I'm having fun doing what I'm doing now, and like, I get to be here on a Tuesday, whatever it is. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get burnt out. I think. All right. I don't know where to go. Where do I go from here? You know. Oh, is that? Are you asking? Yeah, me? I'm asking you. Yeah. I would think that you're someone that, if you're enjoying Ebisu and different things like that, you're enjoying experiences, and you're kind of spoiled with experiences right now that people are jealous of, whether it be going to these Adam type of events, whether it be going to Japan, whether it be going and doing some Drift Week stuff, whether it being doing private day stuff at English Town all the sure. time, yeah. having access to tracks that only YouTubers normally would have on like weekdays or whatever because of they're making media which promotes the tracks and the tracks sure. are excited yeah. about that. Um, you're getting to do all these things and you can either press the gas pedal on that and do that stuff more. You could try and compete, but I don't think that without being excited about creating media or doing all these things that yeah. you're probably not gonna be a competition person anyways. So like you could keep trying to like sneak into YouTuber stuff, which is what you're really good at you know, and get their experiences sure. of all that stuff. Um, and you could just give YouTubers good ideas of stuff to do and drag them along and create like ideas. You're like, yo, we need to go to Riga. Get a group of yeah. four of us together and let's go do it. And also let's pay for Aaron's trip and take him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's, I'm trying to get people, I want to go to Thailand but, really bad. Yeah. So if you want to do that, you yeah. could contact somebody that, like Sammy Tiger, or, you know, one of the Thai guys, and you could make that happen and function um, maybe you have to be proactive about it, but I was, I pitched Adam on the LZ party thing yeah. and then it happened. That and if I amazing. hadn't have, if I hadn't have done that and everything, Drift Week would have been quite different. I would have had to get like Hoonigan out here or something mm -hmm. to like, you know, do something. Yeah. But that worked really well. Um, although it was a bit reversed, like normally Drift Week, you scale up until you like hit the yeah. high point and we started on a high point and now you're just like, Kinda now scaled. we're just drifting. Yep. yep. Um, so I was going to say, but y drifting at this point, especially where you are, you know, with all these friends and stuff, all you have to do is have ideas and execute. So if you want to go to Riga, you just look at a date, get your friends together, yeah. plan out what's happening, contact a local there and say like, yo, my group of YouTubers just wants to come. They'll be like, oh, that sounds rad. Let's get you some ability to do that. Maybe you hit James or Dave Egan or somebody that might know a bunch of that stuff or, you yeah. know, whatever else, and you make it happen. And you make sure that I so get So I just got to keep getting, getting my friends to have fun. That's all I got to keep doing. Yeah, but I mean, you got to be proactive about it. Because a lot of them get lazy about stuff. 
They're like, oh, we're going to go do this or we're going to do that. And you got to encourage them a bit because well, I think they burn out. I will give Adam credit. He is, he's the, uh, the reason why a lot of us stick together and do all this crazy shit all the time is mm -hmm. because he has all these ideas, whether he gets them from you or whoever, but we're always doing something, you know, mm -hmm. the invitational, the drift party, whatever, other things in the works that I've heard about. There's always stuff going on, so it's like, that's really cool, but yeah, you're right, I could be doing that also. You're like, but like I'm not going to. fire under their ass. Yeah, I, I literally, like for the Ebisu stuff, had to pitch Taylor and Adam to go. I'm like, yo, if you don't go, you guys suck. You know what I mean? And they got excited and everything, we took yeah. them. Um, and I'm always afraid that there's these influential people within drifting that are going to get caught up in FD or you know whatever it is, and they won't have fun and they'll get drained out of it. Yeah. Not to bring up Adam all the time either, because but he's no, no, the no, binding fine. glue yeah. between a lot of you guys, yeah. so we bring yeah. it up. Sure. Um, and it's just an influential part. Not even just Adam, but his audience and everything else is influential. Yeah. Um, yeah well, come up with one good idea like that, besides Riga. That was my but Riga's good a good one. No, you have to have one more idea. On the spot in front of me right now, what gets you excited? What gets me excited? I loved, I don't know if you saw what we just did in February, where we all bought Z's, mm -mm. drilled them to Florida. So me, Tommy, Jimmy, and Rudnick all bought Z's within like two weeks of each other. That's a fantastic idea. Then we drove them through a snowstorm from Connecticut to Florida. Mm -hmm. We built the cars at Drift HQ. Mm -hmm. Then we did a drift day at the Freedom Factory. Mm -hmm. We did. Oh, I think I did see did that. We did drift day at OSW. Mm -hmm. We went back, fixed all the cars at Drift HQ again, and then we all street drove the cars back home. So, like, if we can just keep doing stuff like that, like, that was during the trip was hell. We had a knuckle break. We had exhaust fall off. Like in you're the scamming of my nowhere. drift week idea. But it was just... I'm joking. <laughs> Doing your own. <laughs> it was cool, though, because we were able to purchase the cars up here, drive them down. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of awesome brands on board. We were able to build the cars in Florida. Within, like, three days, we built the cars. And then we street drove them all around Florida, and mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a blast. Who had that idea? So Rudnick bought a... So this is how it works between Tommy and Rudnick. One of them gets a car. The other one will buy one the next day, it, vice versa. They always want to have the same stuff, which I think is awesome. So Rudnick had traded a car for a 370Z. Two days later, Tommy went and bought one. And then I went, oh shit, I need one. I feel left out. And Jimmy goes, oh shit, I need one too. I feel left out. So then Jimmy and I both bought 350Zs like within three days of each other. And then we're like, hey Adam, can we get some parts for these things? We want to come drifting. And then I'm not sure how it all worked out, but then we all drove, drove to Florida. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was awesome. It was a blast. It was a lot of work, but it was a blast. Even I'm doing something like that again, like road trips are... You have to do it with really to... crappy cars. The problem is, is like Z's make so much sense. It's an actually like somewhat like fun thing. You yeah. like, we all have to build drift diesels, Mercedes from the 80s and make it work. Wouldn't make it out of Connecticut. <laughs> I've, driv I've bought them before and driven them across the country. They don't uh, die. If they I, have 400,000 miles on them, they're not gonna die now. I l Anyways, they would suck though. Yeah, it would be horrible. Uh, I really like road trips, traveling, things like that, especially car related. Just, mm -hmm. it, they always are fun, even when they suck. Looking back at them, they're, we've done, we all have like M new M3s, newer M3s and M2s. We all did a trip to Tail the Dragon. Like that was so fun. We street drove them all down there, drove around for a couple days. Just stuff like that. I, I love traveling, so. What M3 do you have? Uh, F80. Oh, yeah. God, so many people. Is it paddle or stick? Paddle. So I Jordan many people have it. these. Really? Yep, so they're awesome. Why don't you have a drift one? I bought a PDK, or I bought a DCT on purpose. So you wouldn't do so it? So I wouldn't drift it, yeah. Have you driven Jordans? No. It's really good. The car's crazy. That's honestly the reason why I got DCT. I'm like, I, I will <laughs> ruin this car if I get a manual, so.
Um, it's rare, by the way, to find somebody that hides at Ebisu for like 75 days or do all those things. Because <laughs> as you're there, you can see how many people just show up for clout or like for five minutes to say they've drifted. Have you noticed that? How many people will like yeah. buy a car, literally take two laps and be like, I'm done. Yeah. And you're like, are they scared? And then they ship the car home or do whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah. get it. Isn't I don't it really get it either. Weird? I've seen it so many times. I, I don't know. The, the tracks are very intimidating. Yeah. Even North Course, like I can probably do that with my eyes closed now, but it's still a scary ass track. I've seen cars flip there. You know, it's not like. Yeah, it's I've not seen forgiving. multiple flips there too. Yeah. When I got back in my car after the dude got paralyzed, I was like, for a whole day, I was like, eh, I don't need, I don't know what I need to do. You're like, yeah. I'm chill. Let's I go. went and I was bought like, a harness after. Really? I went and bought a, a five point harness after that happened. I was like, nah, I'm not. With a cage or without? Without a cage. Yeah, so that's even more even dangerous. Worse. Yeah, because it holds you in your seat. Yeah. I just made me feel better after watching that happen, so I was like, yeah. uh, all right. But uh, anyways, I was going to say, v there's very few people that have the same version of drifting that a lot of us do, where like I have have a lot of days in drifting, too, yeah. at Ebisu, because we normally go like 17 days at a time, too. Yeah. And it stacks up. And I was going to say, I have very rarely, even in the people I take with me, I don't think I know of anybody that really drifts the entire time I'm there. And I'm sure you've been like, everybody, oh, my arm hurts yeah. from pulling the e-brake. Yeah, my yeah, shoulder yeah. hurts. My leg hurts. I would say most people give up by day five or six. So, would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Like 90% of the people. So Kane, the last trip, I'm oh, sorry, I was gazing off into space. No, you're good. Uh, the last trip, Kane and I went out a week and a half before mm -hmm. Surrey. Maybe Yeah, I remember longer. that. You were there a long time. It was just me and him and his father. His father was like driving. He's a really good driver too. Um, and then as soon as I started getting tired of driving, more people started showing up, so it was refreshing again. Mm -hmm. um, by the last day, Rich was pulling me out of bed because it was like day 18 or something. He's like, come on, come on. I'm like, oh, just come pick me up later. <laughs> He's like, nope, come on, we're going driving because he had only been there for seven days. Yeah. Um, it does get tiring though. It, it, it's, that is a good point. You start getting to the track at like 1, yeah. and then they close at 4.30, and yeah. you're just like, I'm fine with this. So it kind of worked out, though. I didn't have that ability, though, because in the beginning, we all wanted to go at 8, and then when I started not wanting to go at 8, my other friends showed up, so then we just kept going at 8 every morning, and I'm like, yeah, it's getting tiring. But then I also I like to travel a few days like outside mm -hmm. of Fukushima, mm -hmm. Osaka, whatever. So the next trip, I'd like to go north. I've never been north of Fukushima, so that's what I'd like to do I next. I thought about that. I always end up at the exact same places. That's a good point. Yeah. Because I've, I've been going for, I think, 10 years to like Mahon and Ebisu okay. and other places. I've never been to Mahon. Yeah, I bought an S15 out there, and like I got to drive Yokoi from MCR Factory's D1 car there and all that stuff. Awesome. And I was tandem with Nakamura and everybody, and like my fan broke, and Nakamura just takes his fan off and gives it to me. <laughs> and I'm like, you're that's not going to awesome. drive with the fan? He's like, no, I'm like, oh, OK. Um, I was going to say, I, I need to go do more things. I've been to Nico Circuit a lot. I went to watch oh, D1 cool. at Odaiba. I need to go out more. But when you're at Ebisu, you're just like, I don't care. The outside world doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, like, so I've done. Uh, I was going to say, who on that list, I'm interrupting you. No, you're good. Has been to Japan or should go to Japan. Um, like, not just Japan, but Ebisu. I was going to say. I think Jimmy and Rudnick. Yeah, they should be the next we ones. Absolutely have to go. Because I try and force my friends to go. Obviously, you see how many people yeah. I take. Yeah. I've taken like 30 people at least. I've sold power vehicles no less than 20 something cars. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I think TJ um, needs to go too. I think those three, TJ, Jimmy, and Do you think they Rodnick, will? It's a. It's not a big. In, it's a big investment. I think it's more of a big time investment to go. Yeah. And I think that's what would kill people from going. Because their channels get repetitive? You have to go for two weeks. Oh, I agree. Yeah. But that's the shitty thing is if you're a YouTuber and you can do all these things and then you don't do it because it gets repetitive on your channel, Adam did a pretty good job on that. Yeah. He just lived there and made his videos and like they started, I don't know how well they did, but they probably started to go down in views and he just lives his life. Yeah, it's fine. He doesn't get trapped by his channel. But he's getting, he's enjoying the time there also. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think they need to go. Luke's definitely been to Abisu, right? 
Oh, obviously, yeah. yeah. Luke's been going forever. Because it's such a small commitment for the Australians. Yeah. They were going before I was, long before. Um, and they also, that's a four hour flight or six hour flight. You know, it's real easy. Hardly even time changes kind of thing. It's 14 You're flying up. from New York. So it's typically 14 to about 24 for me, depending. I won't do a layover anymore. Yeah. I can't do the it. The layovers are what get me. Yeah. But I'm from Texas, so there's not a lot of, like, you typically have to fly, fly out to Seattle yeah. or, yeah, LAX. LA, yep. Um, so that's one of those things, too. It separates a lot of people. Not to, I talk a lot about Ebisu, obviously, too much as well. There's, like, a bunch of key topics we talk about a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of one of those deciding factors, and we're dra dragging in some of these other YouTubers. Um, I don't know. I think Ebisu... I My mean, new Ebisu, by the way, is Drift Week. I just interrupted you. Go. That's fine. No, I'm just saying I, well, I'm going to contradict myself because we just made this. We just talked about this. I think Ebisu makes everybody a better driver. Yeah. If you want to be a better driver. That's a good point. If you, 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 you kind of have to write off the car, though. You can't. If you're trying to keep your car nice at Ebisu, you're not going to become a better driver, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Because you are going to crash, it's inevitable, right? It happens to everybody. Never Every there. S no, I'm joking. <laughs> I was gonna say I watched your wheel shoot up over my car, land, and Those everybody's cars are very DMing durable. me. Your wheel fell off. I'm like, oh, it's not me. It's not me. It was Aaron. Don't say it was me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't you. No, not me. <laughs> Never is me. <laughs> Keep going. It was fielding. His car doesn't run well enough to have a wheel fly off, and he des definitely doesn't have a cool wheel that could come off. <laughs> It'd be like a rusty, uh, I don't know, whatever has a, is a shitty wheel. I don't know what else to talk about. I think we had a great conversation. One more topic, give it to me, and then we're done. Just Why say do you something do Drift interesting. Week? Oh, Drift Week was just like I've been looking for the next thing, like a Ebisu thing, and I've been burning out on Ebisu slowly. Um, for various reasons, you've just like, yeah. once you've been there 75 days or whatever, it, it's not that it loses its luster, but if it wasn't so far away and you didn't just go once a year or something like that, yeah. you definitely wouldn't go six times a year. No. Um, you definitely wouldn't go three times a year probably, and you probably wouldn't go when there's not a Matsuri either. You know, like there's all these factors that have to collide. Um, and the other big thing is I've been so many times, I'm doing the same things over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Bringing and people to the same restaurants in the same... Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I realized I was on a search for like other Ebisus or other Ebisu type experiences. And then I realized I even do the same thing in America, do a lot of the same tracks. And I've, I've driven before Drift Week, I don't know, 80 tracks in America or something like that. Um, but I was like, I'm getting older. There's only so many years I can drive and probably do this, um, especially now that I'm a dad. And I was like... I need to somehow create an experience where we're doing something nuts, where culturally we have all these things coming together where we can make things happen right mm -hmm. now. Um, we're kind of like, um, have access to things, you know? Like you that understand you access now. Yeah. yeah, I have access to ideas and I can execute them now, which I couldn't before. Um, also, I want the experiences of Ebisu without having to have Ebisu, because there's a lot of controlling factors there. I wanted to be able to get all of our friends together and do it, but I also wanted to be able to do it with our own cars because mm -hmm. our Ebisu cars are not ideal. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool, but like it's not much different than a 350Z or something Agreed. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yes, they sound better and stuff, but when you're driving 75 days in a row, you don't care about how your car sounds. Yeah. You no. don't care how low your car is. You don't care how it looks. My car at Ebisu has this yeah. much wheel gap. Yeah. Is Every panel is smashed. I don't care. Just get in and drive. Yeah, you only care about driving there. Yep. Um, so I wanted to hit all these points, and then we decided that it had to be like a gimmick, which is a gimmick associated with drifting to make it interesting, which was street driving the cars, which if you looked at this drift week, there was a bunch of people that bitched out and like trailered their cars, and immediately it started to like lose its craziness and appeal. Now it's like track days stitched in a row. So I'm going to have to boot all those people and like kind of start over. Um, no trailers, no, because I kind of yeah, thought can't. that was the whole... It is the whole point, <laughs> yeah. because just like in your Z trip, it's terrifying and uncomfortable. Terrifying. And you have to rely on the people around you, yep. and it really messed it up. 
So, and I don't understand how I lost control of these people like that, but I did. And you, you understand what it's like to lose control of drifters. They're hurting cats. Yeah. I'm literally yelling at some of them, and they're just looking at me like, I'm not going to street drive my car. Are you stupid? I'm like, that's the whole point. The whole, that's you why we're signed here. up to this. Yeah, they're like, no, idiot. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, uh. you're not coming back. So, uh, anyways, I always ramble. But, yeah, I wanted to create, like, the experiences. You know how it is to, like, go to a new track, go yep. eat new places, go meet people. Everyone there has to be on a pilgrimage because it's expensive, it's difficult. Yep. Um, people are building all new cars. Like, you're around Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jordan's, like, redefining the game of cool right now with an F80 and now that stupid right. M240i that he's going to kill himself in. <laughs> um, same I thing know. with, like, Adam drove that JZX100 yep. with, like, literally super illegal, probably go to jail if he gets caught in it kind of thing. Um, like you see Chelsea bombing around in his like TI car. Yep. You see Trevor in his 2J Mustang. Um, I built some stupid car for the first one. So anyways, you know, everybody's building cars yeah. and there's a lot yeah. of neat stuff going on. Chris Finch, if he can get it in time, I think is bringing out one of the brand new Z cars with like oh, Wise cool. Fab on it and stuff. Um, you see the cultural shift and drifting with how many 350Zs are even here, like two? It's all Corvettes. It's just us, I think. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. on the Drift Week crew, if you're not oh, yeah, the Drift Week crew, no, yeah, there's, there's literally one Z or two Zs yeah. or something. There's almost not many S chassis. It's like BMW, E46, two F80 M3s, tons of Corvettes, Z06s. Yeah, it's um, crazy cars you wouldn't typically yeah. expect to see. And I think that's just about to take off. Okay. I'm going to enforce the trailer rule hard next time, and I'm going to choose more carefully. We're going to have a bang up drivers list next time of like James Dean and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, so I think that, I think, it, you know, like it's, it's going kind of nuts and like it's, it's cool to see and we're kind of making our own little like drifting culture thing. And mm -hmm. I enjoy that kind of stuff. So anyways, yeah. that's my no, thing. That's really cool. And I really want to kill Drift Week and come up with a new idea past that. But like, I think we're going to see me doing Drift Week for a while because I can't come up with a different idea. But the ideas have to be gimmicky. Doable. I didn't think we'd be able to do this. Yeah. I mean, it's real stupid. And it's um, got to be an absolute nightmare to coordinate all the track days and everything. Yeah, it is. It's very, very hard. <clears throat> and we're bringing, you know, 1,200 tires with us, tire machines, tire changing staff. I don't know if you went on any of the other ones for a day, but we normally have full catering for everybody. No, I haven't. This is the yeah. first time I've been like. So we normally have catering for everybody, and like I always have a gimmick, which is difficult as well, because yep. like the LZ thing was really hard to pull off. I wouldn't say really hard because Adam brought out the crowd and stuff, but from a logistics perspective, oh, yeah, of we have to have all the good drivers yep. in one place at one time, things to do, the the track, the facility, the and I had to come up with that, and it wouldn't have worked if I tried to bring in bleachers and everything somewhere else. So, anyways. Yeah. No, that was a perfect place for that event to happen. Also. Yep. I was nervous about it being on the FD layout, but as soon as we all started driving, I was like, oh, this will be fine. It makes sense because you're in the middle of everybody. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Tommy. Oh, He's well, leaving. His car's going away on a trailer. How drift week? Goodbye. <laughs> cool. Sweet. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time awesome. and stuff. Thanks Do you have sweet. anything to say to the audience as you get up? Nope. Goodbye, audience. Bye. And always, we couldn't do this without the sponsor. So thank you so much to BC Racing Custom Coilovers, ECU Master, NK Wheels, Drift HQ, Vaptasia, Heatwave, and WhatMonstersDo.com. Use a discount code EBISU on their website. Thanks, guys.